hello friends and welcome to this video uh, in this video i will explain what is laravel hurt and i will also explain why you should use Lala laravel hurt for your next project so first let's get started with what is laravel hurt so you can just go and browse uh, herd.laravel.com and until now it was only provided support for mac os but now it also has provided uh, support for windows as well since i'm running on mac so i will only give you a tutorial for mac but uh, i think it should be similar to how we are installing in mac you can also follow the same steps to install it into windows now first thing is you should download this i already have downloaded so you go ahead and download and click on that DK, uh, dmg file like this you just double click on that and then it will ask you a few steps to perform in order to run the laravel herd environment uh, uh, complete those steps and after that you will see something like Of them so here uh, on top right section you will see the icon like this h h stand for herd and now your laravel herd is installed if you see uh, similar to this first i want to go through with you is settings so if you click on settings you will get to see number of php versions that laravel herd supports till now uh, as you can see it supports from 7.4 to 8.3 uh, i have already installed 8.1 to 8.3 i don't i didn't require to install this too but for uh, most of the projects i have been running through uh, in php 8.1 to php 8.3 so i have installed them one by one uh, it is very easy if you want to install 8.0 you just click on that and that will start the download in two steps so the first advantage i would say uh, working with laravel herd is you can get to play with uh, different versions of php uh, without any hassles you just need to install that and laravel herd will take care of it that is the first benefit now second benefit i would say a virtual host uh, most of the developers would like to create the virtual host even in their local environment something like this so this is one simple test uh, a test dot a simple dot test uh, one domain that i have created for one of my local project and in that I am just uh, printing PHP info and let me show you how we can do that using Laravel herd so this is all I have done using Laravel herd let's go again into settings into sites and you can see there are three sites available but before that let's go to general here you need to provide the prod path project uh, what i mean is uh, uh, path to the, to the project uh, these two uh, routes you uh, these two locations Lara, uh, laravel herd uh, comes directly but if your project is not on these two locations then you can add your own location by clicking on plus uh, I have set up one project on this location just for demonstration purpose but before that I also want to highlight one more thing so if you go and click on herd again you get to see that I have selected PHP 8.2 as a general PHP version but Laravel herd also provides an ability so you can select different version for your website so for sample dot test though i have 8.2 as a general php version 
for my website this demonstration purpose I have used 8.1 so this is also one of the benefit you can run multiple websites in multiple PHP version you can define PHP version per website or per project for your local environment also so this is uh, one of the benefit uh, let me show you sample dot taste uh, so nothing fancy I have only created one project folder let me go to the finder so as you can see uh, rookme heard and then sampled uh, folder in sample folder I have only created index.php and it is just printing php info so this is how you can use laravel heard uh, it will automatically find the folder uh, based on location and then it will start showing it will create the virtual host for you so you don't need to do that for yourself also if you want to run it on secure HTTPS then you just need to click on that like this it will ask for the password provide the system password and then it will just generate the SSL certificate and other stuff to make your website run on secure HTTPS protocol so uh, remember this is self-signed certificate so first time when you load the website it will basically ask you uh, for the permissions and you need to click on those permission to acknowledge that you are uh, running on self-signed certificate the site and then you will run the website on HTTPS protocol as well. So this is about Laravel heard and how e easy it is to run the website uh, on Laravel heard. Uh, so not only PHP, it also provides support for Node. I have not installed any of them because I did not require to until now but feel free to go ahead and install node version if you if you need to for your project now one more thing I want to highlight here so this summarize the support for Apache or Nginx uh, DNS mask and PHP but it does not come uh, for support for database so for database support you just go for databases and here you will find that uh, with herd uh, you get support for mysql redis and sqlite but it does not comes with free version if you want to upgrade you can upgrade for uh, herd pro but if you are freebie like me then you can also use uh, other tools for example db engine you can just check for db engine so this is for mac but i'm sure you will find uh, such uh, alternative for windows as well so this is all for the database now one more thing i want to show you that is for xdebug so I, I hope that everybody knows about xdebug it is a debugging tool uh, that comes up for php you can debug line by line code with this extension though it is not by default installed and come up with laravel herd you have to add so file in ini for example here are you, if you are using apple silicon then you have uh, so file available for php 7.4 to 8.3 and same for intel version uh, to enable the xdebug it is very simple go into laravel herd uh, let me go 
quit some of the extensions here. Okay, I can see now. Uh, into the open configuration files. Here you will get to see all the projects, uh, all the PHP versions. Uh, let's do it for 8.1. Go into 8.1, open INI file. And you can see that I have already installed, oh sorry, I have already added the required line of code. Uh, I have not done anything fancy. Uh, just copy paste add these lines and only change the php version so i am right now installing it into 8.1 so i am taking xdebug php 8.1 version for arm64 based architecture uh, and after adding that line of code uh, you need to restart your hold that either you can do it by stop all and then start all or you can go into your item or any other terminal and type command herd restart that will also do so now you have already installed xdebug successfully it is time to check so this is one of the project that I have shown you earlier. Uh, Sample.test and I am adding a debug point here. Let's start debugging one more time. And now if I run sample of test, uh, let's do it one more time. I think the focus has already shifted. Let's close it out. Reload. And let's start it again. Let's reload. And now again you can see the focus has been shifted to VS code and now you can either click here to go for line by line or you can click here to go to the next debug point or you can stop the debug if you wish to and here you will get to see the desired output step by step so this is all how you can install xdebug with laravel hurt I hope you really like this video and you have learned something. I hope that will simplify your installation, pro uh, installation process next time when you start your new project with PHP and open source technologies. Uh, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.